Hi everyone. The WhatsApp chats and media history transfer that I'm about to show you in this video is a direct phone-to-phone -phone data transfer and does not require Google Drive nor internet. You will only need an internet connection to download the WhatsApp app and when you're setting up your WhatsApp account on the new phone. The chats transfer itself can be done offline or without internet. For this tutorial, I'm gonna transfer my WhatsApp chats from the phone on the left to the one on the right. So here I have both individual chats and group chats where these chats contain media files such as photos and videos. I'm showing you this now so that later you can see that this transfer method will transfer not only the chats, but also all the media files they contain. All right, so before I show you how the transfer is done, let me first explain the requirements and the preparatory steps. Firstly, you can only transfer your WhatsApp chats to the phone that uses the same number. So later somewhere along the process, you will have to move your SIM card from the old phone to the new one. For my case here, right now my SIM card is still on the left phone, while the one on the right, as you can see here, is no SIM card yet. Secondly, your new phone must not be registered on WhatsApp until you start the transfer process on your old phone. You may download and install the WhatsApp app first, but do not set up your account using the same number yet, just like in my demo setup here. Thirdly, both phones need to have their Wi-Fi turned on, but they don't have to be connected to a Wi-Fi network. And if they are, it will certainly be useful, especially if you don't have mobile data plan. Because as I said in the beginning, this data transfer is a direct phone-to-phone -phone transfer and does not require an internet connection. In addition to that, Precise location permissions are required to initiate the transfer, so make sure both phones have their GPS turned on and are placed physically close to each other. And lastly, your phones must have sufficient power to last them for the duration of the process, which could take hours, depending on the size of your WhatsApp data, to be transferred. So connecting them to the power outlets would certainly be a very good idea. All right, so now let me show you how this chat transfer is done. First, open WhatsApp on your old phone, tap the three dots at the top right corner of the screen, and then tap Settings. On the WhatsApp settings, tap Chats. Then scroll down and tap Transfer Chats. On the following screen, simply tap Start. WhatsApp will launch the QR code scanner and your old phone is ready for the data transfer. Now remove your SIM card from the old phone and put in the new phone. Once the new phone is ready, Open the newly installed WhatsApp app, and we're going to set up a WhatsApp account using the same number on this phone. This is when you will need an internet connection, which you can get either from your mobile network or from a Wi-Fi network. For my case here, this phone is now on my mobile network connection. So select your language, and then accept the terms and conditions. If WhatsApp asks for permission to send you notifications, tap Allow. Now enter your WhatsApp number, and then tap Next to start the phone number verification. On the phone number confirmation dialog, tap yes, and WhatsApp will send you a verification code through an SMS. This is where putting your SIM card on the new phone becomes very practical. The SMS will be sent to your new phone and the code will be automatically detected by WhatsApp. Once your number is successfully verified, WhatsApp will offer you to transfer your chat's history from your old phone to this phone. So tap continue to prepare for the chat's transfer. And from this point onward, until the transfer is completed later, no internet connection is required. On the next permission dialogs, simply tap continue or allow to give WhatsApp whatever permissions it requires. A QR code will then be shown on your screen. Now grab your old phone and then scan this QR code. Once your old phone successfully decodes the QR code, it will try to find your new phone. If found, an invitation to connect dialog like this will appear on your new phone. So please accept the invitation to allow the two phones to establish an inter-Wi-Fi devices connection and to begin the chat's transfer. For my case, since I have done a chat's transfer between these two phones before, the invitation to connect dialog is not shown anymore. This process may take from a few minutes to a few hours, depending on the size of your WhatsApp chats and media history. So once again, please make sure that both phones have sufficient power or are connected to the power outlets to prevent transfer failure due to power problems. Once the chat's transfer is completed, tap Next. And then if asked, allow WhatsApp to access your contacts and media, and then type in your preferred display name. So here they are, the WhatsApp chats that I've just transferred from the other phone. As you can see here, all the media files were also successfully transferred together with the chats containing them. All right, so the WhatsApp on your new phone is all set and ready for use. Now go to your old phone, tap Done, 
and then go back to the chat screen. If you use only one WhatsApp account or number on your old phone, you'll get a message dialog saying that your phone number is no longer registered with WhatsApp on this phone. Simply tap login and you'll be brought to the WhatsApp login screen where you can register other number to be used on this phone. But if you use two WhatsApp numbers like in my case here, you will only get the message dialog when you switch to the other account. All right, now here is one important thing to take note about this chat transfer method. If for whatever reason your chat transfer fails, you can redo it as many times as you need to until you succeed. Even after the chat transfer is successfully completed, your chats and media history on your old phone are still intact. No data are being erased during this process. In fact, if you put your SIM card back to your old phone and log into WhatsApp using that number, you will still have all your WhatsApp chats on your old phone, just like they were before the transfer. All right, so that's how you can transfer WhatsApp chats and media history from an Android phone to another Android phone without Google Drive. I hope you find this tutorial useful, and thank you for watching.